feel like Tyreek Hill is the best player in the NFL. Number one, got to be Tyreek Hill. Tyreek, for sure. Uh, number one. Tyreek. Tyreek Hill. Mesmerizing, because it's the highest level of fluidity. There's a consistency at an elite level that is just, you don't see very often. <laughs> Shua looks, throws, touchdown Tyreek Hill! Tyreek Hill has enjoyed a dramatic rise to the top of the NFL. From getting booted off of his college team for domestic violence charges to earning the biggest wide receiver contract in the pro game, the self-proclaimed fastest man in the NFL has now just also been named by his peers as the number one player on the NFL's top 100 list. Guess who got voted number one by his peers in the NFL? Tyreek Hill. Tyreek mother trucking Hill, baby! So I thought I would dig into what makes this guy tick in just an average day for him. So from early morning cold tub sessions to speed training and Popeye's chicken cheat days, this is a day in the life of Tyreek Hill. Now, like most NFL superstars, Tyreek Hill's day begins before the sun rises, typically at around 5 a.m. Surviving a season in the NFL is no easy process, and for Tyreek, that involves starting his Mondays and Tuesdays with a dip in the hot tub, cold tub, and then the sauna. I mean, he even recently said this on his It Need To Be Said podcast, that these days are typically his hardest, despite the fact that they are days off. Mondays and Tuesdays typically like my hardest day, and it's my off day too, but Mondays and Tuesdays, I typically wake up, I hot tub, I cold tub, and I also get in the sauna. I do my body work. This detailed and intensive recovery program is how the cheetah enables himself to live up to that very nickname. One of the 10 things that Tyreek told GQ he couldn't live without was his re-athlete gun, which he definitely mentioned and said that gets a good run during these recovery sessions. Being the fastest guy on earth, you gotta be able to loosen up your hamstrings at all times, you know, because playing for the Miami Dolphins is very hot out here. Massaging, stretching, and cold tubs aren't the only parts of his recovery process though. Breakfast for Tyreek has been the same from an early age. Whether he was a youngster preparing for school, a college player fighting for a career, or an NFL star at the peak of his powers. That breakfast is eggs, bacon, and grits, which he calls a hearty southern meal. Even during the later stages of Tyreek's tenure in Kansas City, his mom and dad were still the people putting the food on the table for him. Since moving to Miami though, he has given them a much needed break and secured himself a personal chef. But even during the off season, you won't be surprised to hear that the grind must continue. Hill still participates in early morning morning workouts, specifically making sure to link up with his teammates. He recently shared a video on his YouTube channel of him working out with quarterback Tua Tagovailoa and fellow Dolphins wide receiver Jalen Waddle, and he says that he will normally go down at around 10 a.m. working on fitness, agility, and most importantly, the team chemistry. And I mean, honestly, if you watch any of the preseason or at least caught any of it when the Dolphins were playing, you might even see some of the preseason just players kind of struggling with that team chemistry. But when the three studs are on the field for the Dolphins, they don't really have that problem. For Tua, Waddle, and Hill, this teamwork and chemistry and a healthy dose of game-breaking speed produced insane numbers in 2023. Their 4,514 passing yards led the entire NFL, coming in 113 yards more than Detroit in second place. Their 496 points scored averaged out at 29.1 points per game, which was good enough for second in the NFL. Like, I mean, there's really no two ways about it. These guys were a force to be reckoned with, and Tyreek Hill was the spearhead. His 1,799 yards led the NFL NFL and made it the second consecutive season that he had passed the 1,700 yard mark. These sessions with his quarterback and running mate are a big part of creating such an unstoppable chemistry, but we all know what his primary weapon is, speed. With the best beginning field position, 35 of LA, he's got Hill, that's a touchdown! And they go to the end zone and caught Hill, touchdown! Starts, to a look, throws, touchdown Tyreek Hill! If he's not working on routes with his teammates, Tyreek is pushing himself to the max with his trainer to ensure that his explosiveness remains better than anyone else in the league. His YouTube channel is stocked full of his workouts, from doing tempo runs, which are essentially just sprints in his garden, to weight sessions in his gym, and speed sessions with his trainers. If you want to be the fastest in the NFL, you've got to put the effort in, and Tyreek definitely does that. I mean, it's clear that these morning workouts are mixed up to keep things interesting during the offseason, but his bread and butter are the footwork and speed drills. The sidestep, 45 degree, and ladder drills are what keep his feet sharp and ahead of his opponents when releasing from the line of scrimmage. Then the second level releases are worked on through sprints, stutter steps, and acceleration and deceleration exercises. When you add in squat jumps, jumping jacks, and some weight work, you get the cheetah, and very few have been able to stop him so far and just really make him the fastest player, honestly, that the NFL may ever see. And now in terms
entering his age 30 season, these workouts and recovery processes are only going to become more and more important. But now with the main workouts done for the day, it's time for lunch. And if his mom was cooking, then Tyreek's favorite would be a quesadilla with nachos, something light and easy to prepare him for training in the afternoon. And when doing this research too, for Tyreek, his workouts will be three times a day, five days a week during the off season. So I mean, these quesadillas, they keep him going, but if it's the off season or a cheat day, Tyreek's go-to is Popeyes. He claims that Popeyes were his grandmother's secret for making him so speedy. You guys know I love Popeyes today. This is my diet right here. This is all I eat. Right here, Popeyes. And now that might be a bit of a stretch, but his favorite five-piece chicken nugget with ranch, hot sauce, and honey certainly hasn't done any damage so far. Practice or more workouts will follow in the afternoon with Tyreek also stating that he closed out every day in the offseason with a 500 catch session to keep him locked in. Hill also has an interesting two more rule. He picked this up in his early days at Kansas City and honestly it explains a lot about how he and the Chiefs even after he left have achieved so much. The two more rule means that you have to do two extra of whatever it is that is asked of you. So if Coach Reed asked him to do 10 sprints, Tyreek and his boys would do 12. If they were asked to catch 50 balls, they'll be catching 52. So I mean that sounds like a winning mentality and a championship culture to me and it clearly has worked out for everybody involved. But after all of that training though, I mean there definitely is more to an athlete than just training all day every day and that's what we're about to go over right now. And definitely one happy side effect of being the top of your game is that you are paid handsomely for it. Tyree got his first big paycheck in 2019 when the Chiefs signed him to a $54 million three-year extension with $22 million guaranteed. This is a three-year extension at $54 million. $35 million is guaranteed. There's also a $5.8 million signing bonus, making Tyreek Hill one of the highest paid wideouts in professional football. And he quickly put that to good use by buying a 7,500 square foot mansion near Kansas City, which was valued at around $1.3 million. However, an even bigger payday came in 2022 when the Miami Dolphins traded for him and signed him to a four-year $120 million deal. Tyreek Hill has been traded for from Kansas City to Miami. That man is now a dolphin, and that man is getting paid. And trust me, if you think that last house was nice, just wait till you see this one that we're about to talk about. He celebrated his big move to Miami by splashing out on another $6.9 million mansion with all the bells and whistles. Grand is honestly the word that comes to mind when tuning into his house tour on YouTube, in which he also revealed he plans on installing a giant shark tank that will stretch from the floor to the ceiling. As you see, I got this circle right here. I'm about to add a shark fish tank right now. That they're designing the fish tanks. You know, for me, you know, I'm getting an eight foot tank all the way up to the ceiling for my shark. Because I mean, why not? When you have that much money and you can do that, I would too. It would be hard to get bored in this outrageous property with a pool and darts room, movie room, huge outside pool, arcade games, gym, basketball court, and even a miniature golf course. I mean, honestly, it's truly just got it all, giving Hill the perfect place to kick back and relax with his family when not away with the team. Unfortunately though, his mansion did suffer significant damage in a fire earlier in 2024, which was apparently caused by one of the children playing with a lighter. That it was a child playing with a lighter that made this fire break out and get out of control. So no one was hurt, but the home, it suffered a bit of damage and will need considerable repairs. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and thankfully, if anyone can pay for the repairs, it's going to be Tyreek Hill. And you see, one of the most important rooms in this giant mansion is his office room, which is located right next to his bedroom. Tyreek Hill's not satisfied with football as his only source of income, so in the afternoon, when his training is finished, he'll head into his office and work on the other revenue streams. Primarily, he has his Soul Runner brand, which he describes to himself as premier athletic wear. Hill explains that the Soul Runners were his group at high school, and they were all motivated to push each other to reach the top. Hill enjoys tapping into his more creative side, and the results are what we see for sale on the Soul Runner website. This office will also be where he takes any work to do with his endorsements and investments. Hill's two longest standing partnerships have been with Adidas and Grip Boost, a football glove manufacturer. One year after first working with Grip Boost, Hill became an investor, making the most of his relationship with the company to even produce his very own yellow peace gloves, which are synonymous with his peace celebration. And I mean, there's plenty more going on as well with Hill really setting himself up for long and a fruitful career off of the field when his playing time does finish. Like many in the space too, he has been tempted by the podcast game and even included a podcast room in his house specifically for recording his podcast, It Needed to Be Said. His biggest passion though is streaming and he regularly is an uploader on YouTube and has expressed a desire to launch an esports franchise once he has retired. Tyreek often shares videos of him playing Madden.
Madden on his YouTube channel or plays Fortnite while streaming on Twitch. Thank you, Swear. Let's listen to me. Listen to me, man. He is fully committed to the influencer and streamer lifestyle, building a huge online community that will undoubtedly serve him well in the long run. He says that whenever he has time in the afternoon, he gets online, making sure he stays up to date and relevant in the space while marketing his own personal brand. And if you've tuned into any of those Tyree Kill videos, you'll have probably spotted a common trend. Whether he's touring his house or giving an insight into his strenuous workouts, his kids and extended family never seem to be too far away. I mean, even in the GQ 10 Things I Can't Live Without video, Tyreek identifies his kids as one of the most important things, as well as also pointing to several tattoos of their names on his body. So my most important essential are my kids and my family. You know, my biggest motivation is just, you know, seeing my kids, you know, happy with whatever their needs is. He says that another one of his favorite things in his life is his Nerf gun, which he also needs on him at all times because he is constantly under attack from his sons. I mean, even when not engaged in Nerf gun wars, Hill enjoys taking his family shopping, playing basketball, and even utilizing the family ATV collection to head off into the woods for a bonfire. And on top of all of that too, Uno is another family favorite activity when kicking back to relax. His evenings will be spent with his family in his outrageous mansion, enjoying daily film nights in the movie room with his kids. His favorite dinner though is Frito pie with chips, cheese on the side, jalapenos, and tomatoes. It's a pretty sweet life when you're earning top in money in the NFL with a personal chef to prepare nutritious meals in a glamorous mansion to enjoy with the kids. And Tyreek Hill makes sure to share his fortunes with everybody thoroughly involved in his life. He spends a hell of a lot of time throwing youth football camps and is often seen taking part in fundraisers. He also set up the Tyreek Hill Foundation, which provides disadvantaged children with empowering opportunities that will enrich their lives. Through the foundation, Hill offers mentorship and coaching to school kids while also awarding scholarships to graduating high school seniors and secondary education students in pursuit of a brighter future. And as I said before, it's a busy life for Tyree Kill, who makes sure that every minute of the day is spent furthering himself physically or financially, or helping those around him. Of course, there has to be some money reserved for downtime, and with the money left over from the house, Tyreek made sure to furnish the house with a stunning car collection. I mean, when you earn as much as Hill does, this collection is probably constantly changing. But the standouts have been the Mercedes-Benz G350, a Mercedes 550 G-Wagon, a Chevrolet C8 Corvette Stingray, and a vintage Ford Galaxy Coupe. He also rewarded his parents for their lifelong support by giving his father a Chrysler 300 and his mother a Tesla Model 3. So, I mean, there's definitely no doubt about it. Tyreek Hill has style. But I wanna know what you guys think. What is your favorite part of Tyreek Hill's daily life that you guys did learn about in this video? For me, it's pretty cool to see that he is just having all of those other revenue streams besides just NFL, because as we all know, a lot of football players end up going broke after they leave the league. But it seems like Tyreek Hill actually has things in place to kind of make sure he keeps growing his net wealth after he does leave the NFL. But let me know in the comment section what your favorite part was. And as always, make sure that you guys like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this content. We are going to be pushing things to the maximum now that NFL is back, baby. So as always, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.